Hi everyone. Throughout the entire history of humankind, the apocalypse has been predicted many times. The history of different nations tells us about all the ways the world can end, from global wars to the intervention of supernatural powers. But recently, reports about the upcoming doomsday have indeed become more frequent. Is this because the global catastrophe is upon us, or does it have something to do with how fast the news can travel? Who knows? Perhaps right now our planet is in great danger, and every day it is getting closer. Is it true? Let's try to figure it out. In these difficult times, the entire world seems to be only concerned about the number of people who are infected and recovered. Entire countries are quarantined, the economy is on the verge of collapse. But there's a new problem we didn't quite expect. While humanity is fighting the virus, it turned out that an asteroid is also approaching Earth. And this asteroid might be potentially dangerous. Recently, there have been numerous posts on social media about the coming end of the world. Yes, we are in danger again. An asteroid is approaching Earth, and it can hit the planet planet in April 2020. NASA warns that a cosmic body several kilometers in diameter will soon strike the Earth. The doomsday is upon us. No wonder that headlines like this quickly spread across the internet, as if we didn't already have enough to worry about. It seems that we just can't get a break. Many even believe that right now, humanity might be on the verge of an extinction, and soon the plots of disaster films will come true. However, there were many predictions about the world's end. Throughout the entire Middle Ages, people expected the world to collapse. And the suggested dates also seem to send subtle hints about that. For example, the year 1000. This date can't promise anything good, right? When the end of the world did not happen, it was rescheduled to 1037. Again, nothing happened. According to other predictions, the apocalypse was expected in 1492. Back then, people believed that the Earth was only 7,000 years old, which means that its history was about to end. <laughs> Time was running out, but instead of the end of the world, Columbus discovered America. Because of the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, people expected the apocalypse in 1584 and 1604. The next date was 1666, but again, nothing happened. And these are just more or less well-known dates. But can you imagine how many predictions of the apocalypse there are in total? The end of the world was prophesized in 1900, 1967, 2000, and 2011. They were based on predictions of Nostradamus and other seers, obscure calculations, and even someone's words. And of course, we can't forget the famous Mayan calendar, which predicted the end of the world on December the 21st or 23rd in 2012. Back then, many believed the end was near, and even those who laughed at it were even a little scared. What if it really happened? But here we are, and the planet is still fine. But maybe this time the danger is real. To find out the truth, we have to start from the very beginning. So what is up with this asteroid? On April the 29th, 2020, a large asteroid is expected to fly so close to Earth that it can cause serious consequences. According to a different theory, it should hit our planet. And this, of course, will result in a global catastrophe, like the one that caused the mass extinctions, which means that humanity has a slim chance of surviving. There are many articles about the asteroid in the mass media. For example, the one in the Daily Express is titled Asteroid Warning. NASA tracks a four-kilometer asteroid approach could end civilization if it hits. To get more views on Twitter, the Daily Express added dates so that it would seem that a dangerous collision could happen in April. If you're anxious and recently there were many reasons for that, you would probably click on the link and read the article, and then you'd start to worry even more. But should we worry about this? We can't do anything about it anyway. No petitions could can stop the potential cosmic apocalypse rushing towards us at great speed. But what does humanity know about this asteroid? An object called the 1998 OR2 is an asteroid from the Amor group, and it has a diameter of 1800 to 4100 meters. This is indeed quite a large size, but this particular asteroid is far from the largest in the solar system. As the name suggests, it was discovered back in 1998 by astronomers at the Haleakala Observatory in the Hawaiian Islands. There are also earlier images of this asteroid dated in 1987 and 1996. In other words, people have long been aware of the existence of a celestial body that can eliminate the life on the planet. NASA experts studied the asteroid for two decades 
and manage to find out something. Of course, they don't have too much data, but this is definitely better than nothing, especially when it comes to threats from space. The asteroid is quite large, and it will move at a speed of about 32,186 kilometers per hour when it approaches Earth. It's not clear what the celestial body is made of and how old it is, but one thing is certain. The asteroid is classified as potentially dangerous. It really can deal catastrophic damage to the planet. Most likely, a possible collision with the Earth will be as devastating as the one that destroyed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. The impact of an asteroid would kill millions of people, not to mention animals, birds, fish, and various other organisms. The ecosystem will also be destroyed because the plants will die. The impact will stir the dangerous processes inside the planet too, which means that we should expect natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And don't forget about tsunamis. As a result, the climate will also change, and most likely for many centuries, and even millennia, life on Earth would be impossible. Surviving people may not be able to repopulate the planet, and after millions of years, another species will become the dominant ones on Earth. But don't rush to look for bunkers to hide in. First, it won't help anyway. And second, the situation is not as simple as it seems at first glance. In fact, the 1998 OR2 is far from being the only asteroid that threatens our planet. Space is in a state of constant flux, and sometimes celestial bodies may approach the Earth. Sometimes they might fly by very close. For example, the 2008 TC3 was discovered 20 hours before it burned up in the atmosphere over Sudan on October the 7th, 2008. The seven-meter-long 2000 2009 VA came within 14,000 kilometers of Earth. In 2014, an asteroid called 2014 RC with a diameter of 20 meters passed about 40,000 kilometers from Earth. The list goes on. The number of celestial bodies approaching our planet is really big, but do we have to be afraid? Not really. Truly dangerous collisions like the Chelyabinsk meteor event don't happen often. This meteor broke up over the city on February 15, 2013. About 7,200 buildings were damaged, and about 1,500 people were injured because of the collisions. Yes, the numbers are pretty impressive, but still not big enough to start panicking. Every day, about 100 tons of cosmic dust fall on the surface of the Earth, and we don't even notice it. Most of these smallest cosmic particles that reach the planet are tiny fragments of dust that comets leave behind when their ice crust evaporates near the Sun. The larger particles that fall on Earth are fragments of asteroid collisions that occurred centuries ago. These particles simply fly in space until one day, they end up a bit too close to a planet. Don't forget that the vast majority of space bodies that reach the Earth simply burn up in the atmosphere before scientists, let alone ordinary people, even have time to detect them. Perhaps even right now, a particle of cosmic dust older than our planet is falling somewhere near you. But back to the asteroid 1998 OR2. No matter how the media tries to create a panic, in real life the situation is not as frightening. Since scientists observe many celestial bodies, the future orbit of each potentially dangerous asteroid is carefully calculated. For example, the orbit of the 1998 OR2 was calculated up to 2197. In April 2020, it will fly by the Earth at a distance of 6.3 million kilometers, which is more than 16 times the average distance between Earth and the Moon. So, not so close if you think about it. After all, we don't need to worry that the Earth will suddenly collide with the Moon, right? Because it's quite close. By the way, in 2079, this asteroid will only be 1.1 million miles, or 1.8 million kilometers away. The asteroid, which is predicted to cause the world's end in the near future, is not even included in the list of objects that might collide with the Earth in the future. After all, NASA knows a thing or two or something about this, don't you think? Yes, such a list does exist. As of now, it includes 21 space bodies. A fully automated system analyzes data and calculates the likelihood of a collision, even if it is minimal, even if the asteroid just flies by. Any large objects that can somehow threaten the planet are under constant surveillance. So, not a single asteroid can reach the Earth suddenly and unnoticed, especially if it's large enough to be dangerous. In fact, NASA is currently tracking about 20,000 celestial bodies, and experts are hardly interested in hiding any information about them. While these objects regularly pass by the Earth without any consequences, stories about the imminent doomsday 
regularly appear in the media. By the way, if journalists and other fans of creating panic sentiment studied NASA's work more carefully, they could announce the apocalypse even more often. In this case, we definitely stop trusting them. However, they will always be gullible people, despite the fact that not a single prediction of the world's end ever came true. We hope they never will. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.